this is the first time we really are pinpointing when these black holes were really forming and growing. Which is the or orbit of photons. That's where photons literally move around the black hole. And around that is this hot gas. Things about the black hole itself, because all the light we're seeing is being caused by this interaction, this impact that the black hole is having on its environment. Fields of galaxies. They run out of there. And if there's... Light is emits and light travels. If there's one thing that's baffled the minds of scientists over the years, it's probably going to be black holes. These mysterious cosmic entities are all over the place, but we've only managed to scratch the surface when understanding them. As terrifying as they are, there's a certain beauty that binds black holes into the construct of the universe, making them an essential part of it. But what lies beyond the event horizon? What more should we know? Scientists believe that most black holes form after a giant star that's at least 10 times as massive as our sun runs out of fuel and collapses. The star basically shrinks until it forms a tiny, dark point. This is known as a stellar mass black hole. While much smaller than the star that made it, the black hole maintains the same mass and gravity. Researchers hypothesize that the Milky Way alone probably contains about 100 million of these black holes. Astronomers estimate a new one forms every second. That's a little too many, to be honest. If you're wondering what's going to happen to our sun when its fuel runs out, well, you don't need to worry too much. Small and medium-sized stars like our sun cannot form black holes. When they run out of fuel, they become small, planet-sized objects called white dwarfs, and they're even more common. These stellar-mass black holes are kids compared to the rest, and they're also the most common. On the other end of the scale are ginormous entities called supermassive black holes. They have as much mass as a million or even a billion stars. Supermassive black holes are easily one of the most powerful objects in the known universe, unless we find something more powerful lurking in the shadows. These celestial titans hold together the millions or billions of stars that form a galaxy, and this fact has been becoming more and more evident to us with the first photographs of Sagittarius A, the supermassive black hole that holds together our galaxy. Even though we knew of Sagittarius A nearly 40 years ago, we only got an actual glimpse of it only on May 12th this year. As we mentioned before, black holes are expected to form when a massive star dies. When its fuel is exhausted, the star's core collapses to the densest state of matter imaginable. So dense that protons, neutrons, and electrons are no longer separate particles. Since black holes are dark, they are found when they orbit a normal star and the characteristics of the normal star allow astronomers to understand the properties of its neighboring black hole. The first confirmed black hole to be found was Cygnus X1, the brightest X-ray source in the Cygnus constellation. Since then, we've managed to find about 50 black holes in systems where a normal star orbits a black hole. And as we mentioned before, they're all over the place. The fact of the subject is that black holes are basically tombs of matter. Nothing can escape them, not even light. If you were ever to fall into a black hole, and we absolutely hope you do not, it would be a painful spaghettification, a concept that was popularized by Stephen Hawking in his book A Brief History of Time. This spaghettification would happen when the intense gravity of the black hole would pull you apart, separating your bones, muscles, and even molecules. That wouldn't be the nicest way to go. Maybe hell is in a black hole. Yeah!
There are too many things about black holes that still puzzle scientists. A recent study now suggests the existence of black holes from the earliest moments of the universe. The new study found that small primordial black holes filled the early universe right after the Big Bang and acted like an accelerator for star and galaxy formation. Although this theory isn't new per se, as it was proposed by Stephen Hawking in 1971, the new study depicts new evidence for it. A singularity. A space-time singularity. So the universe born from a black hole exploding. Keep going. The team of astronomers responsible for the study shows how the existence of such primordial black holes neatly fills some major gaps in the current understanding of the universe. These black holes could explain the existence and nature of dark matter, the exotic and invisible matter that makes up some 85% of all matter in the universe, according to estimates. These black holes could themselves be this mysterious matter, the evidence for which hasn't been too concrete, despite us knowing that the universe as we understand it would not exist without it. Nico Capaluti, assistant professor in physics at the University of Miami and co-author of the new study, said in a statement, Our study shows that without introducing new particles or new physics, we can solve mysteries of modern cosmology from the nature of dark matter itself to the origin of supermassive black holes. The theory of primordial black holes, originally proposed by Hawking, wasn't looked into because of the currently predominant view of black holes being born after massive stars collapse. But observations and detections of black holes enabled in the past year with modern technology show that the black holes lurking around in the universe aren't what we thought they were. Some black holes seem too big, others are too small for our current predicament with collapsing massive stars. Priyamvada Natarajan, a professor of astronomy at Yale University and a co-author of the study, said in the statement, Primordial black holes, if they do exist, could well be the seeds from which all black holes form, including the one at the center of the Milky Way. So it appears that the question of origin of the universe does not have a satisfactory answer. This is the idea that the universe was spontaneously created out of nothing. Alexander Vilenkin, a Leonard and Jane Holmes Bernstein Professor of Physics and Astronomy in the Evolutionary Science in the Department of Tufts University – wow, that was a mouthful to say – suggests that black holes that are near each other tend to drift closer together, saying, what happens is that these black holes attach to one another gravitationally and start rotating about one another. They form a binary system and as they rotate, they gradually will lose their energy to gravitational radiation. They get closer and closer together and rotate around each other faster and faster. Eventually, they merge. As of now, these types of collisions haven't been observed, but astronomers have observed collisions of much smaller black holes. We can't see such a collision through a telescope, no matter how technologically advanced it could be, because no light can escape from a black hole. Though, there is a way to maneuver through this. Using very sensitive and very large instruments called gravitational wave detectors, scientists can detect and measure gravitational waves emitted by black holes. The waves are like ripples in space-time, and the data collected tells the story of what's happening millions or billions of light-years away. Vilenkin continues, The gravitational waves emitted while black holes are just orbiting in their binary systems are typically too weak to be detected. But this final dose of radiation when the black holes are about to merge and when they eventually do merge to form a bigger black hole has been observed many times. These bursts of gravitational radiation last a very short time, but they come in a certain pattern. When astronomers see this pattern, they can identify it as a collision of black holes and figure out their masses and how far away they are. 
In September 2019, NASA announced that astronomers spotted three supermassive black holes on a collision course in a system about a billion light years from Earth. It feels like we've repeated this several times before, but here we go again. Nothing can escape a black hole, not visible light, x-rays, infrared light, microwaves, or any other form of radiation. This inadvertently makes a black hole invisible. Scientists must observe black holes indirectly by studying how black holes affect their surroundings. Black holes often form powerful, bright jets of gas and radiation visible to telescopes. Basically, the stuff that creates a ring around a black hole. As telescopes have grown larger and more powerful, they have enhanced our understanding of black holes. Julie Hlavacek Lorando, an astronomer at Stanford University in Palo Alto, California, says, we seem to be finding bigger and more powerful black holes than we would have expected, and that's quite interesting. She, Hlavcek Lorando, and her collaborators recently used data from NASA's Chandra Space Telescope to study the jets from 18 extremely large black holes. Hlavcek Lorando explains, we know big black holes have these incredibly powerful jets that can easily extend beyond the size of the galaxy. How can something so small create an outflow that's so much bigger? The size of the jet can be used to estimate the size of the black hole. That has led to some surprising findings. In December 2012, for instance, Blavchik Lorando and other astronomers reported that some black holes are so big, they deserve a new name. Ultramassive. I kind of like that name. These black holes probably contain anywhere between 10 billion and 40 billion times more mass than our sun. Even five years ago, astronomers knew of no black holes with a mass above 10 billion times greater than our sun. With so much mass, the super-strong gravity of an ultra-massive black hole can hold together entire clusters or groups of galaxies. That's a little too much power. There's a lot about the great beyond that's a mystery. We literally don't even have all the questions, let alone the answers. Black holes are certainly the test to the limits of our knowledge, and there's plenty more for us to learn. In due time, we'll be able to know much more about these cosmic titans, but for now, I think we'll keep looking. So, what do you find most fascinating about black holes? And with the James Webb Telescope up and running, what more will we find out? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.